Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm talking about the tips that I use to make my hair grow healthier, stronger and longer. And I would like to also share how I deal with the hair loss problem that have been bothering me for many, many years. And I think it's uh, common to most of us, especially for those who have a very long hair. And guys, I really feel you and I know what kind of problem it is. I have been tired of this whole disaster situation after taking a shower when you look back what is left there and you have a very very huge amount of hair left and i think it's uh, stressful for most of you who are really dealing with this kind of a uh, problem so first of all i would like to say that i have already taken a shower maybe you see it from my face now i tried to share with you the products that i use uh, the products that i found out for myself just recently and some things that have really improved the hair loss or prevented the hair loss problem so let's start so this is the elasticizer from philip kinsley it makes your hair look more elastic more bouncy and silky i apply it before washing my hair i keep it for 10 to 20 minutes and i heard that even audrey hepburn used this uh, kind of elasticizer from philip kinsley and she really loved the effect that she had so i have tried this sample size which came in the advent calendar and i really loved it and i hope i'm gonna purchase it soon so try this one as well another mask that i apply before washing my hair is the slow shampoo from christoph robin which i've already talked before about and this is the cleansing mask with lemon you can use it as a low shampoo but i use it as a mask and it gives this very soft effect silky effect it is like your preparing your hair beforehand for washing with shampoo. You can purchase it online. Whatever products are uh, in Christopher Robin, they're all very good. And I really uh, suggest this product to use as a mask or as a low shampoo, so it's up to you. Next one is this shampoo actually exactly the product that helped to uh, stop my hair loss problem this is the shampoo with aloe vera from christoph robin and it is 250 milliliters you can purchase it online i found it in the store it costs about 20 euros and it lasts for quite a long time this is my second bottle and i'm sure i will keep using it for a very long time because i'm very satisfied with the effect First of all, my hair stopped falling. Then I felt this very soft effect of my hair. And I think together with another mask from Christoph Robin, it works perfectly. It really helps your hair grow stronger and healthier. So I suggest. <laughs> okay, next one, what I do after washing my hair with this shampoo, I like to apply hair masks for after shampooing. I know it's a bit complicated and it might sound it's too much, but this is exactly what I do to make my hair look really healthy. Okay, my uh, towel is beginning to fall. So I love this argan oil from Morocco. This is the deep conditioner. This is a sample. I found it in Muller. I think you can find it in any uh, international drugstore. I would love to purchase a bigger <laughs> version of this, but I loved it from the first sight. It helped to make my hair look stronger and you really feel it. And it doesn't dry it out and it's very, very silky. So it's good for making your hair look and feel soft and silky. And I apply it for 10 to 20 minutes. It says, um, it depends on whatever effect you'd like to have. The longer, the better. It's a very good option to use as a mask. My towel keeps falling. Okay, so this uh, looks very bad, I know. Actually, this is a very cheap, and very affordable version of argan oil 
this can be a very good substitution for the previous mask that I showed you and this is from Isana Professional you can find it in Rossmann a Rossmann is a German drugstore so I think for those who live in European Union uh, territory they can find it easily in the drugstores for those who can't you can find a substitution as an argan oil mask so whatever argan oil mask you can find try to first use a sample and then try to apply it and see if you have a very good result because argan oil is good for hair it's very popular among uh, beauty bloggers and I love the effect from this mask especially and I, I think I've already finished it because there is almost nothing left in here <laughs> although it was a very huge uh, bottle it's 250 milliliters I'm holding my head like this because my towel is gonna fall and we're gonna switch to the next stage where I apply a coconut oil to my hair so what I do next I like this part of my hair care routine when I dry my hair I try not to squeeze it like we usually do you know uh, after taking a shower your hair is wet and we squeeze hair like this so I stopped squeezing my hair with the suggestion of my favorite beauty blogger Ali Andrea thank you very very much and once you stop squeezing the hair I think because you are actually reducing the amount of hydration, the amount of water in your hair and it affects your hair in a very bad way. So once I stopped doing that, my hair started to feel healthier. So this is one of the tips that I learned recently and I wear my towel like up like I used to before uh, for a few minutes not longer I try not to keep it for long because it dries out my hair so once I finish it I take away this towel what I do is I take care of the ends of my hair usually they are the ones that dry out faster and that's why they break so I found very cheap coconut oil in the drugstore in the Rossmann you can find any any coconut oil that you have this one is likely with avocado oil so I just squeeze like okay two pumps like this apply it on the ends of my hair like this and it doesn't make my hair uh, oily because I apply it on the stage when they are still wet this is the most important part that you need to learn and especially in winter time with the heating with everything cold and wind you need to take care of it more so I take the whole part and just apply it here and you will see after a few seconds you won't have any oil in your palm and actually with all the products that I applied before it feels very good my hair feels very soft and shiny look I don't know if you see the effect but I feel it with my hands <laughs> so I try not to heat or to dry my hair with the fan because it really damages my hair unless I have to so in those situations where I am in a hurry and I need to get ready very fast I try to apply thermal control or protection for my hair so I have two great products that I can apply before drying my hair or before ironing it so these are the ones first one is the Thermal Protect Oil, it's uh, in a spray and it's from Gliscor. This is a very affordable and cheap version of protecting your hair. It has a vitamin E and I just spray it on my hair and continue drying it. And the second product is BB Hair Dressers. This is the invisible oil. I recently got it from the Beauty Box of January and this is a good product for protecting your hair from any thermal damage it has uh, UV and heat protection and it's also good to apply it um, before brushing your hair so these are the two products I apply before heating or before drying my hair and usually I don't have to use them but it's good to have them uh, just in case I also had a problem of hair loss in this part of my hair 
A very good woman in the drugstore suggested me this oil from The Ordinary. This is more of a serum rather than an oil. It's a multi-peptide uh, serum for hair density. I applied it for one month and it had an amazing result because my hair started to grow slowly in this part and you can see there is a very small hair in here. I don't know if you see it in the camera. I was very surprised to have this result and it was only after one month of usage of this uh, serum. I applied it before going to sleep. It's more oily but I used to apply it uh, not on the first day after I washed my hair but on the second or the third and it gave a result. So ideally you need to apply it every night. The results I guess would be better and you can find it on uh, online or in any drugstore that has the ordinary products. Another tip that I can give is I stopped washing my hair as often as I did before. So usually I used to wash my hair three times per week, but now I do it two times. And in those days when they are really, really greasy and uh, I don't feel comfortable, I of course I wash them, but on the third day after washing, I try to have them back or have them like a ponytail. And this way I can prevent uh, from washing it uh, that often because it's also not good for my hair. The second tip that I can give is before going to sleep, I started braiding my hair. So I do just a little bit of art <laughs> in here and I just go to sleep and I uh, noticed that it has a very good positive result on my hair because my hair ends, they started not to break as much as they were before. So thank you all for watching and being with me and visiting my channel. It means a lot. I love you all and I wish your hair to grow stronger, healthier than ever. If you have any questions or any comments, please leave them below. And if you have any tricks on how you made your hair look stronger and grow healthier, just share your tip. We're all We'll be all interested to read about it. So have a great day and I love you all.